Yo, first of all, how are we doing? I haven't posted in over a month. Oops. Yeah, fucking shit. Fucking... So before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly say, um, there's not tons of footage. Um, basically, we're a bit pushed for time because it's starting to get dark, and obviously when it's dark filming, like the footage just looks all grainy and horrible. Also, I didn't know a lot about the car when I was filming it originally. Um, I didn't actually ask Harry too much about it. It wasn't until after the video where he actually was telling me things about the car, and then I was like, well, I wish I knew that for the buddy video, so thanks for that, Harry. I just... I went in blind basically. So yeah, once again, there's not loads of footage, but I still try to make a decent video for you guys. Uh, so hope you do enjoy. I'm gonna stop making excuses now. I'm basically just a shit YouTuber. And yeah, goodbye. Hello guys, this is Joey here, and welcome everybody to a brand new video. So we've got a pretty sick video today. Um, Harry's just glossing his car off a little bit uh, before we probably get into it. But as you can see, we are doing a video on this gorgeous BMW E36. Um, so it's honestly it looks incredible um, and as soon as he brought it I just thought I've got to get it on the channel because it looks insane so he's going to gloss it up a little bit and then we'll get into the video and tell you a little bit more about the car Okay, so here we are. Um, so yeah, it's BMW E36. Uh, is it a 320? Yeah. 320i. Um, so it, as you can tell, uh, one of the first things that you notice is it is on air ride. Um, I think it looks so sick. Um, it suits the car so well. Um, it's just, I just. I can't get over how bloody sick it looks. I really can't. Looks like a blue supercar compared to mine. <laughs> he's, he's over there because he's a little bit shy, bless him. Um, so, yeah, these are these stock alloys? They're not. They look really nice, to be fair. I wasn't sure because the thing is, what I like about these alloys is, like, they kind of look stuck, but they're not. I think they suit the car so well. Um, so, definitely a good choice of wheel. So coming on to the back, um, we've got the beautiful spoiler. It looks incredible. Like it changes the car so much. I mean, if you had another one that looked like this part next to it, the difference this makes to the back end is just crazy. Cause it sticks out. It's like a really good height as well. It's not like, like a big gay wing, but it's not like a duck tail. Um, it looks really nice. It kind of has a duck tail here though in a way how it obviously it like sort of sticks out um so yeah also has a uh, scorpion exhaust as well on there it sounds very nice it just it looks just looks really clean but what i don't understand so this guy is he's literally been driving for four months had a two litre mark four golf slam that now he's got a 207 uh gt um but it's a diesel, so it's, it's, it's his workhorse. And now this. In four months, and he's had three cars that are all cool. So, fair play. The engine bay is actually immaculate. You haven't, you haven't detailed it, have you? No. no. Hasn't even detailed it, and it's just so clean. So, two litre straight six. What horsepower are these? Factory. About, I think, I believe, yeah, I think they're about 150. Um, rev to about 7k. Uh, they just... You can tell it's a straight six. It just it sounds incredible. Like they've got such a good tone. Oh wow, Kane and air filter. I literally didn't even know that. Inside, we have some beautiful four lever interior. Also comes with a Domino's box, you know. Um, but yeah, I really like the seats in these. They're, they're actually quite, they are comfy to be fair. Um, yeah, it's just it's quite a clean interior to be fair. It does look very nice. So we've got the, the dials there, and what I find funny about these, these have like a manual, um, like a manual miles per gallon uh, thing. So 
I think that's quite cool. I haven't really actually seen that in any car before. Uh, we've got six speed manual gearbox. Um and yeah, it's just it's just a nice place to be. You know, it's it's everything's quite close together as well. Obviously you've got the center console here. Um but it just feels quite compact inside. I would show you the uh the tank uh but it's a bit messy in there so i'm not gonna show you in there um but yeah so overall it is honestly a very very cool car headlights are in pretty good nick as well don't look like they need restoring anytime soon um they're pretty pretty mint so yeah um that's basically the car um looks so cool oh also got sunroof forgot to mention that look at that you've got sunroof got pop outs you know for for your scene points um but yeah honestly it looks so clean so what we'll do now is we'll start it up um and then take it for a little drive we're getting a bit pushed for time now because of like it gets dark early now um so not sure how the footage is going to look or what fish i'm going to be able to get um so i'll try to get what i can um but yeah let me know what you guys think of the e36 personally i haven't really took much interest in beamers i i just i prefer like japanese cars and stuff but like this this is sick it's just incredible so are you happy with your purchase yeah. you are do you reckon it's one of the best cars you'll ever own? Probably. Mm. Not, so yeah. I'd, I'd say so. I'd say so. But it is done well. So so glossy as well. Shinier than my car. So yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna start up right here at sounds and then take it out for a little spin. bit push for time now um so i'm gonna set the gopro up i'm just gonna get a few like driving clips uh there is an audi r8 right there um but yeah it's quite quiet inside to be fair um like even with the exhaust it's not droney at all um so yeah it's just it's a nice place to be also it pulls really well um like when it's I mean, the power's quite instant anyway, but I'd say when you're above sort of two, three thousand RPM, um, the power is just there and it, it just pulls so well. Going into a fence, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Stick your car ready. <laughs> yeah, there's a fence there, mate. <laughs> We're just gonna go straight into the wall. Uh, I know, yeah. What do you think you're doing?
do that in this car. <laughs> I bet it looks so silly from outside. <laughs> if, if you can't tell, you kept pressing the throttle on and off. It was... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you sausage. I'm trying to knock his engine already. Uh, yeah. Got to look after it. He hasn't ragged it too hard, I don't blame him because obviously a new car and with how it looks and what's been done. And it's not even on 80k miles yet. It's not, yeah, exactly. It's literally not even on 80,000 miles yet, so you know. Gotta keep it in good nick.